Hey, what's up guys, it's Unleash here today, and we are back with another video on Sonic X Shadow Generations. And in today's video, I just thought let's have a little discussion about Shadow Generations, because it has come to my attention that Shadow Generations has forgotten some games. <gasps> I know, terrible. Terrible news. So in today's video, I thought that we should just talk about these games that Shadow Generations actually forgotten and talk about if they're going to be in this game and this not been shown yet and to why I think they could be implemented into the game if possible. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's discuss the topic at hand. So to begin this discussion, we first have to look at which games have been represented in Shadow Generations and why they're there in the first place. And these games are as follows. SA2, which makes sense because obviously Shadow, and that's the game where he was introduced. Obviously that's a big part of Shadow's history, makes sense. Then we have Sonic Heroes, another game that makes sense because that kind of went into a bit more of Shadow's backstory with his whole forgotten memory and amnesia stuff or whatever. And just overall he had a big part in that game's story because you can actually play as him in there as well. Then the next game is Sonic 06, again Shadow was playable in that game and had a big role in it. Yeah, makes sense why it's in this game. The next game which is represented in is Sonic Forces. Now Shadow did have a massive role in this game but he still had a bit of a reason as to why Infinite was evil in the first place and you did play as him a bit in there so even though Forces didn't have much in terms of Shadow content it is kind of very slightly part of Shadow's history. And then the final game which has got representation in this game is Sonic Frontiers. Now um, I don't think there's any actual Shadow reason for this being in here as we know right now. I think it's just in there because it's the recent game and you know just put it in there anyways. And looking at the games I've been showed in Shadow Generations, it seems that basically a lot of 3D Sonic games essentially since Shadow's debut in SA2 are being represented in Shadow Generations. Which means the following list of 3D games have been represented in Shadow Generations. Shadow the Hedgehog 2005, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, Sonic Lost World. Now I would say Secret Rings and Black Knight but even though they are canon, I don't think they count as mainline because they're kind of their own thing because obviously they're literally titled the storybook series not the mainline series so they're kind of their own thing right there. But yeah four 3D games since SA2 have been represented in this game which is uh, quite interesting. So starting off with Shadow the Hedgehog 2005 now even though there hasn't been a shadow stage in this game yet I think we can be like 99% certain that it is going to be one in this game. Now some debates have been whether about it's going to be Westopolis or not because we have heard a remix performed by Jun Sonoi and Teddy Lloyd at TGS but does that really confirm Westopolis in the game? I don't think so. Since we haven't heard any of the Act 2 themes for any of the levels so far, Westopolis could easily be the song for Radical Highway Act 2 or even Sunset Heights Act 2 because of enemy territory and forces. So Westopolis isn't actually confirmed for the game just yet, which means we can speculate still. Now for most of the games that have been represented in Shadow Generations, it seems that they either get one level and a boss. SA2 has had maybe the Sonic Rival fight and the Bio Lizard. Heroes has had Metal Overlord. 06 has Mephilis and then for Forces and Frontiers we haven't seen anything yet but there is a possibility that Infinite could show up in this game to represent Forces as a boss so that's something we can bear in mind. And then for Frontiers we haven't seen any boss for Frontiers just yet, but I'm not sure if it is going to be one at all, we'll have to see. But if there is a Frontiers boss in this game, it's most likely going to be Knight, because Chaos Island, it won't be one of the simple Guardians, it's got to be Knight, obviously the big boss. So looking at Shadow the Hedgehog 2005, if I had to pick one boss and a level to be in Shadow Generations from that game, I mean, Black Doom, that's already going to be a boss, so that's already ruled out most likely. And as for the level, I think I would probably choose the uh, Black Comet. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you're going to have Black Doom as a boss fight, then having the Black Comet there as a level, maybe the final level probably as well, makes complete sense. And honestly, the more I think about it, Having the Black Comet in Shadow Generations as the final level could be actually really cool because it would give you the opportunity to have all Shadow's Doom powers used in a single level as a big gauntlet or something. I mean you got Doom Surf which can be used here because in Shadow War 5 there are the spinny top section where you go on the... What is this stuff? I don't know what this is but yeah, you can have that section be for the Doom Surf and then for the Doom Wings that can also be in here because we got these flying sections I think in the last way I believe so you can have these be the Doom Wing section. Then Doom Spears, I mean that's just like a basic movie obviously that could be used in any level pretty much. And then same thing for Doom Launch, you could probably launch across some massive gaps or platforms or something. I don't know, they can probably figure something out. And moving on to the next game which is Sonic Unleashed aka the goddamn GOAT. I'm not sure how you could relate Shadow to Sonic Unleashed to be honest with you. I mean Frontier 
ideas, you can maybe kinda twist it towards Shadow with all the Ancients lore or something to somehow link that back to the Black Arms or something maybe. I don't know, something like that. But with Sonic Unleashed, I don't know, I think you might be stretching it way too much there. But maybe somehow link it back to Dark Gaia and the Black Arms because they're both kind of like alien races. I mean Dark Gaia is one guy actually. Um, Actually his minions too actually. They're all stretchy, whatever, yeah. Basically aliens. And this could be a good way to explain where the hell Shadow was during Sonic Unleashed because he was supposed to be in that game actually, but he was scrapped the same with Knuckles. So having Shadow have a Sonic Unleashed level in this game would be pretty cool actually. So if I had to choose a level and a boss from Sonic Unleashed to put in Shadow Generations, that's actually a kind of a tough one because none of the levels in Unleashed kind of relate to Shadow. So maybe put Eggman Land in there? That could be pretty sick actually. I mean, having Shadow in Eggman Land kind of fits his style or whatever, because, you know, cool, dark, edgy or whatever, and Eggman Land is basically all dark and everything, so having Shadow be in Eggman Land, yeah, kind of makes sense. And then to have Shadow have a boss fight from Sonic Unleashed, it would definitely have to be one of the Gaia enemies, so maybe just chuck Dark Gaia in there, maybe? Maybe have a Shadow fight him with, uh, with the Doom Wings? in the core of the earth, that would be kind of cool actually, ooh. And if it isn't Dark Gaia, you know what, it has to be the Chunning Bird, come on now, the Dark Gaia Phoenix Chunning Bird, using the Doom Wings and flying along with the Chunning Bird, and or dodging projectiles or whatever, like all the flames that he sends at you, and then shooting the Chunning Bird with Doom Spears while flying with Doom Wings, that would be sick actually. Then moving on to Sonic Colors, now, even though Shadow isn't anywhere to be seen in the HD version, well, HD actually, Wii wasn't HD yet, the Wii version, in the DS version, Shadow and Omega and Rouge actually do appear in that game. So maybe they could somehow canonize that? I don't know, that's again a bit of a stretch there. Because like, I mean, Sonic Colors, um, that's really not relating to any Sonic game of the entire series, except for, you know, the Wisps. Maybe they want to somehow link the uh, Mother Wisp to the Black Arms or something, I don't know. Or maybe just chuck Sonic Colors in there, because why the hell not? And obviously, if they're going to put Sonic Colors in there, it's got to be Asteroid Corsa for Shadow, right? I mean, that's the most edgy-looking stage in the game. And Shadow even appears in Asteroid Corsa in Colors DS as well, so that makes perfect sense there. And then as for a boss fight... Maybe put a negative Mother Wisp in there. Apart from that, you've just got a bunch of robots in Colors that are all reused twice, so... Yeah, negative Mother Wisp in there from Colors DS. Yeah, I know you're gonna have to make that model from scratch, but he did it with Metal Overlord, Mephilis. So why, why not do it for this, eh? Why not? And then for the final game, which has been forgotten in Shadow Generations, which is Sonic Lost World. Now, putting Lost World in Shadow Generations, in terms of story, you could maybe link the Zeti to the Black Arms, because again, both weird alien races. I mean, Zeti are really aliens, are they? But maybe you can explain where the rest of the Zeti are, because apparently, I think, somewhere, I don't know where it's from, maybe it's the comics or something, the rest of the Zeti went extinct, so the Deadly Six are the only ones left. Maybe explain that somehow? I don't know. But the thing I'm more worried about with Shadow Generations having Sonic Lost World in there is... How do you put all that gravity mechanics in Shadow Generations and even more than that? Nothing in Sonic Lost World looks like it fits with Shadow the Hedgehog, man. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Heck, even Sonic didn't look like he fit in there half the time as well, so... If Sonic doesn't even look like he fits in there, you're not fitting Shadow in there. No chance, mate. No chance. But if I had to sit here and choose a level from Lost World to be in Shadow Generations, I guess it would have to be Lava Mountain. Even though I'd rather not have that in there because we've already got Eggman Land that I chose earlier, but maybe Thunder Acropolis, Skyroad Zone 4, that stage? I mean, we've even got the SA2 Ghosts in there. And then obviously, if we're gonna have uh, that stage in there, we, we gotta fight Zavok then, right? I mean, who the hell else is Shadow gonna fight out of the Zeti? That really is kind of significant. I mean, Zaz, he's kind of crazy, but again, we don't really care about him. Zomom, no. Just no. Don't even put Shadow and Zomom in the same room. Don't even do that. Then Master Shifu, I mean, maybe? And then Xena, just no. Her only personality trait is this woman. No, Shadow doesn't care about that. Then Zor, I mean, he's depressed and wants to kill himself half the time. Maybe Shadow can really, I don't know. Maybe Shadow can use the stuff that is learned to help Zor not feel suicidal. Maybe, I don't know, that could be a funny little scenario there, I don't know. But yeah, I think that brings us to the end of this discussion then. So, Shadow Generations has forgotten, Sonic Lost World, Sonic Colors, Sonic Unleashed, and Shadow the Hedgehog now. Are uh, these four games, I think only one of them is going to be shown off in Shadow Generation, and it's probably going to be, you know, Shadow 05. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Unleashed Colors and 
I guess, Lost World in this game, but yeah, I just don't think they're gonna put those in there. Maybe it's DLC in the future because along with the movie pack, next year apparently there's gonna be more DLC for this game, so maybe it's a DLC pack. Heck, maybe even a Black Knight DLC pack because obviously Lancelot in there. That could be quite cool because in the movie DLC, the cutscene or whatever that happens, Shadow does say that he's in a different world or something, so do that same thing with Black Knight, say, oh, what's happened here? I've gone to another different world here. And then, yeah, do something like that. I mean, it's DLC, right? You can go crazy with it. But let me know what you guys think of this discussion right here. If you were to pick four stages and four bosses from Shadow War 5, Lost World, Unleash, and Colors to be in Shadow Generations, what would you pick? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become Unleashed. Imagine that join button down below. And remember, it's not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.